publicity. She knows that we're on camera when we sit down here. She loves the attention that you guys are giving her. She's growing like a weed. She's getting so big. My little puppy is gone. She's now becoming a big puppy. And uh, she wanted to answer some questions you guys had. I'm going to brush her while we're talking because she's, she's grubby. She was outside playing with her sister Hazy. And Hazy is a lot bigger than her. And Frenzy tends to get rolled around on the ground a lot and comes in very dirty. And it's raining today. So she's uh, kind of a pig pen. But that's what we expect out of little kids. Um, so to... I wanted to answer a few questions about the dog show last week that Frenzy went to with her sister and her mom and her uncle. Um, so first is that they want, you guys wanted to ask if she did tricks at the show and the answer is no. Uh, she didn't do any tricks. They were just looking about how she's built and put together, um, which is kind of hard to explain, but in simple terms, it's, does she, she stand right on her feet when I stand her like this as I want I want her to stand really well and straight on her feet and not toe out so her toes don't go this way um, is her back straight which it is is her head pretty Does she have the right coloring the right markings for a Bernese Mountain Dog her tail is straight she's got the white tip on her tail we've talked about before so a lot of those things are what the judge is looking at. It's kind of hard to describe it, but this is a kind of what we do in the ring is we have them standing and then we move them so the judge can see how they move. Um, so basically all she needs to do is stand, stay, and then walk on a leash. But if you guys were able to, not some classes weren't, but we have a trick video on Frenzy's um, page on YouTube that you can go watch her do her tricks. And she did 10 tricks for a title, um, and we were able to do that virtually. Kind of like you guys are learning virtually, she got to learn virtually. So that's cool. Um, so we got our first trick novice title by doing 10 tricks in that video. And we're working on more tricks. We're working on our trick intermediate title. And so when we finish that, we'll make sure to share that with everyone. Um, and today I'll show you a few of those tricks that we're working on for that trick intermediate title um, that are new. Uh, so that's hopefully answers some of those questions um, about the dog show. Uh, let's see, you guys, oh, does Frenzy have a signature, signature trick? Well, we're kind of working on what we like to do best. Um, we're working on a new one that I we'll see if she does it when I'm when I'm not standing up because it's a little different with the camera. But I say good night, Frenzy. Good night. Yes. So did you guys see her put her head down? I'll try and do it facing the camera. I'm trying to teach her to get her head down, to push her head down. And right now she's just pushing it down. She's not holding it, but we'll work on that one next. So she's got to itch. Frenzy, good night. Good night. She was close, but she didn't do it, so I didn't reward her for it. Yeah. Good night. Yes, good girl. Do you guys see that? So that's her new trick is to do good night, put her head down. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, the other trick we're working on for our trick intermediate title is to go on a platform. I call it go on your spot. So I have a spot right there and I ask her, go on your spot. Yes. So she touches it. I'd like her to sit on it. That's the whole goal, but sometimes she lays down on your spot. Yes. So I wait for her to do it. Do you see how I wait her out? Because she's trying to see what do I need to do to get the tree. Frenzy, on your spot. Yes. So now she's, did you guys see that? That was actually pretty funny. She's incorporating two tricks. She's doing good night on the spot. So I'd rather her just sit on her spot. She's got one foot on the spot. Come here. On your spot. So I'm going to help her out. Yes. Yes. Good girl. So I, I give her a reward when she's doing it right. 
And then that way that'll increase her trying to do it again because she got rewarded for doing that one thing. So I'm going to pull her off the spot. Come here, big girl. On your spot. Yes! <laughs> she she almost lost her balance. She was trying to do it and she did it too quickly because she wasn't try, sure exactly what I wanted and was going to give her a treat for. But this is just her learning a new behavior this quickly. So I'm going to pull her off over here. Come here, Frenzy. Good girl. On your spot. She's fishing for cookies in my pocket. So she missed her spot. So I'm just not going to reward that. I'm not going to talk about it. Frenzy, on your spot. Yeah, good girl, on your spot. Yes, yes, good girl. So did you guys see how I waited her out? I was letting her think through it because sometimes it takes a second for us to kind of comprehend new things. She had to kind of figure out, how do I get the treat from mom? And she did her good night and that didn't work. I didn't re reward her for that because that's not what I was asking for. And I waited and then she got up and went to touch her spot. So we're still working on that, but you can kind of see how the uh, cogs in her brain work to learn new things. And these are just fun, easy things. I've got, just as a foam disc, I think for, um, for Frisbee. Um, and, and I use that for her to, to teach her to get on her spot. Yes, good girl. So we're working on that um, and how we touch the spot and, and get on her spot. I'd love for her to sit on it. And so we're working through that part, but. Um, that's how long it takes her to learn a new trick. The other new trick, remember, we've been working on was the rollover. So we're still working on that. She can't do it on in one, if I ask her to do it, good, rolling. So we'll do it again. Get her out where she has enough room. Rolling, rolling. Yeah, good, rolling. So she's put it all together. So now we just need to put the name to it so she knows when I ask for it that we're rolling. So you guys have watched her from each week learn that trick. And so that's where we've progressed. We've gotten pretty far with it. Uh, let's see, another question is, can, Fran can Frenzy stand up? Well, so, and I'm assuming you mean on the back two legs. This is a breed that's really heavy. They're you're gonna, she'll be 100 pounds when she's older. So they don't typically stand up on their back legs. Some of them can sit up on their haunches, um, but standing up on their back legs, I would have to support her. Um, and we haven't done that yet. I can probably use a piece of treat to get her to do it. Frenzy, come here, come here, hands up, come on, hands up. Yes, 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 good girl. So I can help her and she can do this. But to stand up, let's see, she can do that. And I can just encourage her to, but she's putting a lot of weight on my uh, arm because she weighs a lot. So it's, she's not going to be one like a little small dog, like a Chihuahua or Toy Poodle or Pomeranian that can stand up and dance around on her back feet. It's just not something that she can do. But she will be able to pull a cart when she's older. That'll be cool. Um, another question is, when did she learn her first trick? Well. She learned her first trick when she was about eight weeks old. I start training puppies right when they're ready to go at eight weeks old and she learned how to sit and she learned how to down. And then I taught her to shake probably around nine or 10 weeks old. Um, Frenzy did awesome at the show. I was very proud of her. She was very good with her sister Melee. And I wanted to show one more tri trick that you guys will get to watch her start to learn. She's never seen this before. Maybe you guys have. Some of you guys might recognize this as an easy button. That was easy. So it tells me when some when she when she hits it, that it, was easy. It will make a noise. And so I'm going to teach her. Good, yes, is to touch it, and then pretty soon she'll start pawing at it. And I'm going to just keep it right here. And it actually. It would be really easy if I had Hazy out here. Hazy, good girl. So she accidentally touched it, so I'm going to reward that. Come here, Hazy. Just Hazy. Hazy. Come on, Hazy. So Hazy knows this trick. Hazy. Come here. Yes. That was easy. See, she just did it. <laughs> 
Okay, sit. Easy. Run your spot. Come here, Frenzy. Show it. Oh, it's been a while since we've done it. Maybe maybe we'll we'll get back to you on that. We'll practice it. Uh, we'll make sure that they can both do it by the time we get back here. Hazy used to do it. She's trying to figure it out. Yeah, we'll practice. I think Hazy's out of practice. Sometimes when you don't practice things, you forget them. It's easy to do because we haven't practiced that for a while with Hazy. So the other, the one thing you're going to get to watch after this is Hazy went, or Frenzy went on a new adventure this last week, and we went on a hike. We took Hazy and Chase and Frenzy all got to wear backpacks, brand new backpacks. Okay, girls, they're rough housing. This is what happens when you get two, two sisters together. Lay down, down, Hazy, down. Yes, thank you, wait, back, Hazy, wait. So we went on a hike and it was super fun. It was a nice day out and uh, we all had, they all, all the girls carried their own backpacks. They carried water and poop bags. That was Frenzy's little job was to have poop bags. And we, uh, we went and had some snacks and we went for a nice hike together. It was super fun. So I'll show you some video of that. And uh, we made sure that uh, we got out in nature, got some exercise. So definitely work on getting some exercise as we're inside our houses more. We need to make sure we get out, see nature, get outside and get some exercise. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope you guys have a great week. And yeah, say goodbye, Frenzy. She would love to give you guys all kisses.